This one is for my ancestors. I feel him on my shoulder. Begging me to drop bombs like boulder. Has a cultural mold. They insist that I use my gifts as a lyricist to bear witness to the past, present, and future of African greatness and always place emphasis on the beauty of blackness and never digress into the common connotations of my color with slackness. Tell the people the truth, not petty myths like Loch Ness. Direct them to the proof of an African genesis and be a portal to which they can access the inner emperor and the inner empress because it's the duty of every man and every woman to manifest God in flesh. So we honor the body, the Ori, and the Ruwa Kodesh. We say Hetep Shalom. Has Salam alaikum, ja bless cause. This poem and all the rest are for my ancestors. We stand upon their shoulders. So rise, you African sons and daughters. Let me bust the seal files and fold You see the people dying, but you know not what they're dying for. You hear the children crying, but you know not what they're crying for. You tell me that you're trying, but you know not what you're trying for. How can we win the war if you know not what you're fighting for? You want to see more clearly, but your vision don't stretch very far. Get your head out of the clouds so you can see beyond the stars. Embrace Venus and plant your feet on Mars. Your mind should span galaxies, but you keep them locked behind bars. It's time to get grounded in the traditions which our ancestors founded. Every time we left it out, we tend to get pounded by European ideology we are confounded but hearken your ears so you can hear when the Akoban has sounded and have no fear because we are always surrounded by the ancestors they're wrapped around our shoulder And even when times get bad and colder, them the times we get bad and bolder. The spirit world is accessible, it's permeable and it's porous. The ancestors sit behind the veil patiently waiting for us. They implore us to join them in chorus to fight against those who would detest and detour us. But some careless Ethiopians think that somehow the plantation owners now adore us. And if we stick our heads in the sands, our enemies will ignore us. But if that's what we think, then we're on the brink of extinction like Tyrannosaurus. No time to blink, time to link with that and those which came before us. Like the Sphinx, which is really Horim Hackett, and Heru, who is higher than Horus. None but ourselves can free our minds, and none but ourselves can restore us and ensure us. That that we will be victorious in a world of criminals the righteous man and woman is notorious but have no fear stand firm by your god and also by your all glorious ancestor their shoulders are our shoulder Some say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Well, what a beauty it is to behold that which is ours.